Hey everybody, Tracy White here, uh, T. Earl on the forums, and um, so this is going to be the first in UE4 tutorial, and I want to show you where I started with my game. So it was kind of easy going and doing some tutorials and using some starter content and all that stuff, but one of my big things was how do you start? Uh, how do you you know all your levels together and then uh, get it published so starting the project was probably one of the biggest things I, I needed to learn about we're gonna start with uh, for this game we're gonna use the rolling blueprint I'm gonna target for mo uh, mobile and tablet at medium quality and we're not going to include the the starter content so the name of my game right now a maze go ahead and put that in and we're going to create the project hopefully very quickly All right. so here's a weird thing I said no starter content but what did it do it gave me all the starter content anyway um, I'm not real happy with that but that's okay because we're not going to use this and we can end up deleting the uh, meshes uh, materials and any uh, blueprints that we're not going to need so the first thing I want to do is I want to create a map um, I'm going to uh, take everything in the scene and uh, delete it so Then what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and save this level and we'll call it a maze start map. Except my caps is on so a maze start map. And that's going to be our um, starting level uh, whenever we open the game. Uh, and then we'll start putting stuff on that later. So one of the things uh, about the editor is uh, being able to set up what the editor comes up with um, and stuff about your project. So we're going to go to project settings. Um, you can put your company name, a home page, and all that kind of good stuff in here. Uh, and we're not really worried about anything on this page yet once you get a project thumbnail if you want to you can put it here it's going to automatically generate one at some point in time and put it in there so here's the big thing maps um, this defaults to example map well we just created a new AMA's start map so we're going to change this default game and editor to our start map so whenever I bring up the editor for this project, it'll come up with our uh, start map. I'm not really worried about um, everything else. We've already got our uh, game mode is rolling game, um, which is exactly what I want to use for my starter template. And uh, we don't have a server game mode yet because, uh, well, we're not going to do anything networking. If you wanted to set uh, starting movies and stuff, uh, you could add it here we're not going to be doing any of that kind of stuff uh, packaging I'm not really worried with yet but here on supported platforms I've got everything selected and I don't want to do that so like I'm not going to do HTML5 Linux PlayStation or Xbox so we are going to be able to publish to Windows Mac iOS and Android If we come down here to Android and iOS, you can see that uh, the editor's not set up for those yet. Not a big deal. You can uh, go ahead and configure now on those, and that will make uh, certain files writable. And in our Windows mode, we're going to use uh, DirectX 11, 10, uh, if you wanted to include OpenGL you could uh, OpenGL uh, would be used for HTML splash screen if you wanted to change that which we're not going to yet 
and the game splash screen, same thing. Not going to change that stuff yet. Uh, all our plugins are set like like we want them to. Oh yeah, game icon. Uh, we'll have something later on. So that's kind of the setup for the game, uh, and and something that I had skipped before. We can get rid of our example map now if we want to. I'm not going to be using that anymore. Blueprints. We'll go ahead and leave the ball and our game mode set as is. Meshes, we're not really concerned with these two meshes, uh, so I'm going to delete those. All right, so I just wanted to show real quick on how I set up the editor um, for my target uh, platforms, uh, how to set up my base map, and then uh, the next tutorial is going to talk about um, importing assets into the map. So thanks for watching, and uh, catch you next time.